so um, good morning and um, this is rock uh, Peter and I'm just gonna show you how to do a quick frequency separation all right so we have our image double click to unlock the layer so now what we're basically gonna do is duplicate this layer twice you can use ctrl J that's twice you change the middle to blur and then you change the top one to details now what we're gonna do is you know hide um, the top layer select the second layer that is the blur layer go to filter blur and gaussian blur now the image is really really blur in which is too much yeah you can always zoom in with control and plus so now we're, we're just gonna try to get you know just some part of the skin just make sure that we don't see details you know all these details right here we're gonna blow the skin so we don't see it just so we don't see it all right now we're gonna open the detail layer you select the layer go to image apply image now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, change the layer to blow since we're trying to apply you know the detail um, layer to the blow layer then change the blending mode to subtract then you have some sort of you know high pass high pass layer which is basically an um, it's basically a high pass layer but then again you know it's actually is more accurate because it um, takes the information from the detail layer and from the blur layer then subtracts it to give you a perfect high pass layer so um, the opacity is 100 the scale is 2 offset is 128 I don't know why but that's just how you know um, someone made the calculations and then gave us that and that's what we use so usually you just leave it at that or if it's not that you can change it to that scale to offset 128 click OK then you change your blending mode to linear light now if you notice there is really no change because when you turn off the details it's blow when you turn off the blow it's back to, to the normal layer so you can just turn that on then create a group that is just hold control and you select both layers control G then um, you change you can change it to FS or you can change it to frequency separation yeah now what we do is we have you can open the layer we have the blow and we have the details so what we're gonna do basically is click our lasso tool then we can zoom in again using the control and plus now what we're gonna do is um, well of course you have to make sure that your feather is okay so you, you, you don't have a rigid um, edge you have a smooth edge now we're just gonna draw the lasso around oh sorry about that I'm just gonna draw the lasso all around you just take some portion of the face or the area that, that you want then okay I have my shortcut for um, a Gaussian blow well you can always come to um, filter blow and Gaussian blow and then of course if you want to change your own shortcuts you can go to keyboard shortcuts under edit then you can just set your shortcuts so I'm gonna use the shortcuts and then since it's already at um, 8.2 I'm just gonna take it up a little just so it's smoother than than normal and say okay so you, just like that you can select other parts just make sure to try to avoid the hair even if it really doesn't matter you know um, since it's on a different layer it's not really gonna affect since we have the details on a different layer so we're just gonna select and do that quickly Yeah. Okay, we have that. 
also you can still oh, sorry about that you can still go all around here it's a guard out okay so we have around the eye area a chip Done. Let's remove the jaw area. Okay, that's too much. I'm just gonna reduce it just a bit. Okay. Yeah, we also have it here. Yeah, so I, I don't believe that that's all. We can still give a little here, just for the kick of it. No, and here. Yeah, so basically we have that. Now uh, we're done with the with the blur layer. Now if we turn it on and turn it off, you'd see the difference. No. So this is the original image and then this is after putting applying the blur. Yeah, so now we go into the details. You just click on your stamp tool, make sure that it's actually on the current layer. And then of course you can always reduce your opacity and the flow just so that you know it blends well. So you just go, you have your stamp tool. Now because it's on um, a high pass layer, it really doesn't stamp you know the image. It literally just stamps um, the details in the image. You can just use that, blow all around, just click on blow. Yeah, you can just literally have fun with that. So anywhere you feel there's a blemish that you don't like, you can just immediately take the details off there and just replace it with a detail that you want there. Okay, almost done. Also, um, you could use this also to you know take care of some wrinkles that you don't like. You know, just just a little of it. Yep. Yeah, and also you can use it to cover up. Yep. That's right there. I can try to use to try and yeah, kind of blur it out more so it blends with the skin and then of course go back to your details okay, just try to blend it out there and yeah so so yeah that's how to do a high pass you know so we have the, lay the detail layer, we have the blow layer, and if you feel like you know what you did is too much, you can always reduce the opacity of either the blow layer, you know, just to make it look a little bit more realistic, or you can also just you know reduce the general frequency separation, 
yeah and you know there you have it so thanks for watching um don't forget to subscribe um, to the channel and you know we'll bring more videos to you um, on how to do different things on photoshop and also we might bring up some videos on how to do things on lightroom so keep watching subscribe like and thank you have a good day